a great show for you tonight. Hollywood superstar Keanu Reeves is here. So, Keanu Reeves. Oh, I know. How exciting is that? Because he's been in so many great films, like uh, The Matrix. Oh, what a brilliant film. Oh, wonder what it was about. He <laughs> also starred in uh, the surfing thriller Point Break. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Yeah, done a bit of surfing in my time. Yeah, found a great picture of a cat that looked like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just look at that for half an hour? <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> and of course, we all love Keanu in their speed. Speed, yes. Oh, it was exciting. And I love the dramatic, tense theme music. You know, the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> Now, the idea was the bus would explode if it goes below 50 miles per hour. Do you think, I, I wonder why they didn't film it in the UK? <laughs> <laughs> and he's the most excellent dude ever to sit on my sofa. It is the fabulous Keanu New Year to you all. Happy New Year Very to you. good. Do you all have a nice time? Yeah. yeah. Were you with somebody all in baby mode? I you? was total baby mode all night. But she saw it in. She actually managed to make it to the New Year. And uh, then slept. Yes. Yeah, just, just <laughs> as everyone else collapsed. One minute passed. No, because even at the back, you were still. I know, still going. A little pre show feed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh, what did you do? Uh, it's actually my mother's birthday on New Year's Eve, so, um, so I was with my mother. Which was lovely, Mum. It was lovely. It was such a lovely time. You and your mom? Just me and my mum. It's pretty weird, Keanu. Just, just yeah. like that. Yeah. That's how we roll in the UK. <laughs> I don't it's know nice about enough. that. What did you do? I, I, <laughs> we're quite a trio. You and your mom, you yeah. with a baby. baby. Yep. And I was alone on my couch. Oh, no! At 10.30 in the, at night, I was just like, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Women back there just going, why didn't you call? <laughs> Well, it's funny because the night before I had some people at my house at like one in the morning who I didn't know who kept ringing my doorbell like one in the morning. They're like, Keanu, come out. We love you. And I'm like, I'm not going out there. <laughs> yeah, the next time you'll be like, where are they right. now? Oh, so close. Because <laughs> now you're in London. You're here for quite a while. Yeah, I'm here to start a project called 47 Ronin, a uh, kind of 1700s mythical Japan samurai film. And... It's about seven months. And even though you're very famous, you do ride motorbikes, don't you? Yes, yeah. But like a lot. Is that your main way of getting around? Yeah, uh, pretty much, yeah. A little Norton Commando. Yeah. English twin. Hang on, Nineteen sorry, did that you just say... Totally did you just say a Norton Commando? <laughs> <laughs> between your legs? Because I can tell you at least one person sitting very close to you is imagining exactly that right now. <laughs> I saw that picture of you <laughs> standing in the rehearsal. Oh, that's and my book. The jokes write themselves, <laughs> but they're not going there. <laughs> but, no, but you do fall off motorbikes a lot. Yeah, I've had some. I've, you know what? It's a weird thing. I've had some good luck and some bad luck. Well, you're and alive. Some, that's the good luck. <laughs> um, the bad luck is I've got a fake tooth. I've got a huge scar here. I've got a, I guess, a plate in my neck about this. But that's not all just the motorcycles. But, yeah, I've come off the bike a few times, yeah. And, but, but wasn't there a time you scarred your leg? Yeah, that was the one where a car pulled out in front of me, and, and I was kind of trying to decide. This was just after I had the plate in the neck, and I was deciding as I was kind of about to hit the car. Because I started to veer, but then the car saw me and started to move, and then he stopped, and then I was just like, oh, man, what am I going to So then I was trying to decide whether to drop the bike or to jump off the bike and go over the car. And then by the time I kind of figured that all out, um, I took the bumper off of his car, Ooh. and I ended up sitting on the ground, and then that bike was lying over there, and then my tooth was cut in half, and I had blood in my mouth. And then the guy came over, and he was freaking out, but I was in shock, so I was like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
time. <laughs> but the thing about it is that I was getting, as I was sitting there, a my skin was open on my shin, oh. and bone white is very white. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, so I kept touching it, and my friend was there, I was like, look how white that is, look crazy. <laughs> And so then this woman who came up said, is everything okay? And then she kind of was there and the paramedics, and then she was like, is that Keanu Reeves? And he's like, what? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> and I was like, huh? <laughs> and my friend was like, are you crazy? Are you insane? I guess that's when people go to events in limos, because to avoid, to avoid that happening. Oh, no, there's trouble there, too. But oh, but in limos? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, yeah, as, soon, as soon as I said that, I was like, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, no, you really we have them here now. No, no, but in the UK, they're not used by celebrities. It's just slags. <laughs> it's different. It's a different rule. <laughs> uh, in the States, you know, celebs get around, but here, it's just like groups of, of uh, women, with usually two of them poking out the sunroof. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, with their top off. Yeah. <laughs> Classy. So what did you do? <laughs> I think we've been in limos enough. What else is going on? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'll tell you what's going on. You uh, have a new movie opening on the 14th of January. Yes, yes. Uh, Henry's Crime. And I've seen it. It's a really good movie. It's a really fun movie. Oh, and, it, and, and well, the cast is great, too. Yeah. Jimmy Kahn. Yeah. And Vera, Vera Farmiga. Yeah, I particularly love her. She's fantastic. Yeah, she's fantastic. But it's... Yeah. It, so, because it doesn't really fit into a genre. It, so describe it, describe it to the people. It's, a friend of mine saw it and she described it as an existential romantic comedy caper movie. And At last. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? A little romance, a right. little existentialism, kind of like who am I, where am I, what am I doing? And, um, and, a, and a bank heist. Ed, is that to you what? Uh, to give them an idea, we've got uh, a trailer. Not just a trailer, the trailer of oh, the Oh, fantastic. Film. Yeah. The actual trailer of that film. Which might help. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Max. Henry. Henry. What are you in for? Bank robbery. Freeze! I didn't do it. What are you in for? Life. I gotta call you back. I just ran someone over. Are you okay? What are you doing here? Are you here to sue me? No. Good. You came to jail to ask me to help you rob a bank? I did the time. I may as well have done the crime. What are you doing after the rehearsal? What? What was your story, Henry? Just got out of prison. Wow. There's a tunnel. Runs from the bank to the theater. You're gonna rob the bank that you already went to jail for robbing? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, we do it the old-fashioned way. We go in with guns. No guns. What? Well, why? Someone could get hurt. Oh, but that's, that's very sweet of you, Henry. Welcome to the party, Brando. Aren't you guys worried about getting caught? It's kind of a win-win situation for me. Why? I like jail. Very good. During the course of trying to rob this bank, there's a tunnel. And the tunnel, there's a bank and there's a, and a, and a theater. And um, they're doing the cherry orchard. And um, as the story progresses, I fall in love with the leading lady, and I end up having to play the lead in the cherry orchard on opening night in order to rob the bank. But will I take the money? Or will I go over for the girl? And do you will know she your lines in the cherry orchard as well? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I have a, I have a lovely. I got I got to do the um, that lovely section where he's you know I bought it, you know when he buys yeah. the estate. Yeah, yeah. So I got to do that section, which was wow. really fun. Awesome. But I mean, it's it's a charming film. It really it, is. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, it's like it's kind of an old school kind of movie. You know, we shot it in two four zero. It's very cinematic. Anyway, cinematic. it's in color, <laughs> <laughs> but not three D. I noticed. I know. Three D. Everything's going to go three D. Hey, oh, please, no, <laughs> no, stop them. You know the people. Make them stop. They the can't thing. stop. They, they must They've stop. They've got to wear actual glasses. <laughs> Right. And then you wear the other ones over the top, and nothing works. <laughs> it's it looks looks work. rubbish. No, you, the only bonus is you get to see the movie twice because there's two images <laughs> projected on the screen at the same time. <laughs> rubbish. And cartoons in 3D as well.
as well. Right, I'm on one now. <laughs> right? They're already not real. They're cartoons. I don't need them to be real. Why, why, why this obsession with 3D? Make them stop. Can't I can't. Do you you know the people. Do a motorbike I'm stunt. <laughs> they're already on the stunt. In, in the sam, I'm doing a samurai film. They're doing. 3D. Yours will be great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mate. Well, the, the, the other reason you're in Britain, of course, is to make this uh, sa Samurai 47... No, it's 47 Ronin. 47 Ronin, Ronin yeah. 47 Ronin. Yeah. And you're here, you're learning how... Because it's a big action movie. Yes. Yeah. And you're learning the sword fighting at the moment. Yeah, a little sword fight and uh, some riding and... Yeah. Do you enjoy all that stuff? No, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? No. Yes. Yes. no, it's fantastic. No, no, it's a, it's a gift from the heaven. But what if you're mm -hmm. bad at it? What if you like, I Ooh. hate samurai sword fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, we're going to do it again today. It's another sword scene. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever come across an action thing that you were just rubbish at? Well, I don't know. We, one thing that was kind of funny was when I trained for the first Matrix film, right? They had us kind of training. For, we trained for four months. And for four months, I'd work with the other actors, and you couldn't hit anybody. No one could hit. Everything was about safety. And then the first day of filming, the guy tells me, okay, kick him. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, kick him, hit him. It was a stunt person, but it was, just, it was just funny that you guys have trained me for four months, and I'm not, and then I couldn't hit him. I was like, I can't hit him. I, I, I just, I can't. <laughs> and then finally the stunt guy was just, look, if you don't hit me, we have to keep doing this. So just hit me once, get it over with, and we're done. And so like, what? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That? Yeah. He could have taken your head off. <laughs> But no, I haven't had anything that was... Have you? What have you... Have you had to do anything where you were like, oh, really? I have to learn that, or...? Pole dancing. Really? What is that? Yeah. that was... You had to do that? Yep. <laughs> See, he has. Have, have you? I actually have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was asked to host a charity pole dancing event. <laughs>